between Razor Fudo and Razor Shen. Are you ready? Fight! You can hear Atlanta crunching around. <laughs> Little bracelet dangling, yeah. So Shen wants to keep a range just outside of of, uh, of Rekka range. You know, she you see she has the mobility to go in for the strike and get back out immediately after. Oh, here we go. Opportunity for yeah, there it is. Like you said, punishes that Rekka from pretty much all ranges. That was funky. Yeah, it looked like Elena tried an uppercut and it just didn't work. Her regular uppercut, pretty much no one thinks about it. Oh, rip punish! Get a chance to heal herself a little bit. Oh, I love that. Just going into the regular one instead of the EX. And using the EX for those uppercuts. This is what we saw Shin do a lot at South by Southwest. Save the meter just for EX uppercut. Right. Oh, gets the hard crumple. And he's looking great right now. He challenges, and Fudo tries to dash up. No dice. Or maybe he thought he had done DP FADC. I don't know. Oh, right. And you get hit out of that, and then the dash registers anyway. Yeah. Yep. Take the throw tech there from Elena. Wow, that was so good. So much damage on Elena already. Oh, no punish. Oh, he just got him, and he was standing. He just was walking forward. And chase down, yep. Nice. Pluto challenging with the wake up uppercut. Wow, again. And here's, the, here's the healing. Right back in there, yeah. Oh, trying to build a little meter. That was so risky. Oh, nice. Backdash with punish with that Rekka. Definitely took a risk on the Rekka itself. Ooh. Wow, did he just know that Fudo was trying to match? Oh! Those reactions. Fudo! What a great reaction from Fudo. Great composure to even know to try that in that situation. Wow. Oh, didn't quite get her uppercut. They hit her while she was crouching. It's like a hitter before he pushed the buttons on the uppercut motion. Get the hard knockdown so he can try to cross, cross up or fake oh. cross up. He back. just gets away, saves the meter. Yeah. He has a good back dash. It's a little slow, but it goes far. Right. Oh. Tried to whiff punish, but you can see the weird hurt box she has as she does that. Yeah. And here comes Fudo. Gets him in the corner. Two throws. Oh. Still corner control. Nice whiff punish. Healing time again. Yep. Just do a half heal. Get out of there. Yeah, and that's the reaction Fudo's done every time. Just mm -hmm. try to keep the pressure going. He's got to be. Oh, oh, blocks this time. He doesn't get the punish. Oh, and that e was key. EX, red, EX focus, EX red focus, no armor. That's why that low jab just beat it out right away. Oh, here we go. One, and he two, just got three. that bar. Oh, no, where's the, ultra? The, where's the ultra? I don't know. And he backs off. Like, he, he can't really rep it in this situation, so I'm not sure. That seemed like a big mistake. Oh, oh but he gets in. He whips the first one. And Xian tried to whip punish, and Fudo just immediately goes into the second Rekka, and it pays off. Wow. The battle has begun. Fight! Gets the low in there. Very important to have that low as a credible threat. Oh, he went all the way through. And Shen gets jabs. Maybe could have gotten a little bit more, but hey, got something at least. Fudo now with pressure. Nice. He's got EX uppercut, like I said. Oh, wow. Baits out the flame kick. All right. I wonder if that adds up to being more than if you just do the strong. I don't know. No EX uppercut that time, but again, face out. And again, wow. just gonna go into the healing. Now, let's see if he uppercut. Oh, okay. See, I was gonna see if he was a chicken wing and an EX uppercut reaction from Shin. Oh, beautiful anti air. Oh, and he just goes in for the chip. Hey, yeah, you see him pursue? Yeah, uh huh. Walked Fudo down. And the battle continues. Fight! This is it. The fight 
Dudo spending some bars, try to get in there. And there's that trick right there. You always go low every once in a while. I mean, he didn't have the meter though, so there's no reason for Pudo to stand up, which is interesting. Oh wow, counter poke on wake up. Nice. Shen just getting away. Now it's on Fudo to try to press the right buttons. Shen, oh, oh really? Shit. But since it wasn't canceled, it was actually unsafe, and Shen knows <laughs> yep. it, and he got the punish. And then a little bit less than 100 life back. Trying to win by chip again. Oh, red focus, but blocked. And then the EX uppercut. Yeah, not much to do at the same time. Elena wins. So 1-1. One, one. It's the battle of the century. Fight! Yeah, even though it's 1-1 one, one right now, I felt like Shin had the advantage in both, you know, at, kind of overall. Because Fudo really kind of had to pull off some stuff to win that first game, but mm. good start right now from Fudo here in this third game. Troy Saw says you actually rack up more stun and end up about as much damage if you do the crouching jabs for the strong. Oh, okay. You know, I was wondering about that. Thanks for the info. I also wonder, too, maybe sometimes I've seen crouching strong into the, the spin sites miss like that. So I wonder if sometimes the jabs just make sure it stays in range. <laughs> Thanks to Shin for demonstrating that for me. Right, yeah. <laughs> right when I needed him timing, to. Huh? <laughs> back to outraging. Oh, chase down. Chase down more. Okay, good block. Oh, got him. Oh. oh, there are setups to make that so that you can combo afterwards. Goes low. Oh, drops the combo afterwards, though. Elena has a lot of odd combo link timing. So you really have to practice up with her. Oh, just but too far too for the crouching jab, maybe? I don't know. He's just too scared to try it. But he gets the chip anyway. I'm really impressed by Pudo's play in this match. Oh, just gets in there again, standing. It just happened to be a walking moment. Oh, wow. Okay, sure. Well, uh -huh, uh -huh, Pudo will on. take it. Yep. Pudo will take it. Right back in there. Oh, what's the setup? Okay, not much. Yeah, a lot of people are so used to blocking the EX one that they don't try to counter the regular one, even though the regular one has such huge startup. But sometimes it is a good option just to go with it. Oh, no EX up with that. Oh, oh, beautiful! Backdash to punish that, the pommel horse. Great mobility. Great punish. Oh, beautiful range on that slide. I like it. Get him to respect the low. Oh, Fudo's just been crouch blocked. Oh, I like that a lot. He might be looking for the flash, the yellow oh, flash right. for the overhead. Oh, punish, there it is. Can't do that. That low jab from Elena reaches so far. Oh, and not punished. Maybe he was expecting the third Rekka there. Yeah. But Fudo didn't take the risk. I mean, Fudo's been doing a lot of those frame trap Rekkas recently, so uh, I think it's the same thing. Oh, no! Punishing. Fudo trying to get his own excellent spacing on. Oh, oh no! A neutral jump from Fudo is going to do a ton of damage. Was that the first neutral jump? I feel like I haven't seen him do that before. Yeah, actually, well, and he might have predicted there was the exact right, right time. There, okay, yeah. yeah he, I mean, now he saw it work, but... Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good that read. Chases the back dash. Gets the throw, okay. Gets some healing now. Done a great job with that overhead so far. Yeah, more neutral, neutral jumps now. But it's got to be careful with that overhead. If Shin ever blocks it. Oh! This time he gets the link and not the rest. Wow. Oh, but punish that. Oh, but it's too far and no. Oh, bad news for Shen. No meter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, he missed it. Does he know something we don't? Does, I don't, that, does that not, not work, work? Yeah, I'd like, if anybody knows, we would love that info.
Two to one. And Will Shen will stick with it? Yeah, okay, that's good. This is his pick against this character and player. Stick with it. Oh, great timing. That's a lot of damage. Wow, what a start to this round. I don't even think Udo cares about taking that hit. <laughs> just gets back away. Now, Shen can outrange Fei Long and he can punish Fei Long, but how is he going to make this damage active happen actively? You know, he's not going to whiff punish that many things. Fudo's not going to give it to him that easily. Interesting, he went for that jab punish, but he didn't get the combo afterwards. Oh, wow, stop the record. Oh, okay. a neutral jump of his own. Now he's going to be able to get some life back through some healing. Yeah, so Fudo overcommits, and just like that, it's an even match. Yep, and she has a life lead now. Oh, wow. Accidentally let go into the jump fears. That thing has such a crazy hitbox. Oh, get, wow. and he's going to pull this off. That is an amazing round. Wow. Yeah, so the Fae doesn't work on Elena. The Ultra doesn't work on Elena. Oh, okay. Just Thanks misses. to Daryl and to Veggie. Interesting. It just misses, huh? Oh, there it is. He went for the frame traps again. Not gonna work. Oh, he tried to get that meaty again. Yeah, that, that overhead is minus four on block, so he's taking a lot of risks every time he does it. Okay, that time he gets the full combo. Try to chase down the backdash again. So if he keeps doing that to chase the backdash down, that what opens up the ability to get him with that meaty overhead. Came in for that little hit, I love it. Yeah, Saw it wasn't working out. Yeah, had the FADC to save himself. I love this forward and back movement. Oh, here comes Fudo now, big threats. Oh, not a crumple. He has bar again. Yes. Oh, that's it. Wow, he takes the round himself. Yeah, lots, lots of comebacks in this in this particular match right here. In this particular game, I should say. Okay, we accept for to keep him out. A little bit more active player from Shen. A good punish from Fudo. Looks like he tried to close the distance with a chicken wing, but came out with the whip. Oh, okay. Oh, he just got hit by it. He wasn't ready for it. But that's the beautiful thing about Shen's game. He uses it so rarely. Oh, no. Just dashes right into that. This is match point for Fudo. All right. But he's got to make sure he doesn't get knocked down at all because Shin all launched up with that ultra. So he gets some life back. Oh, oh here we go. Huge opportunity for him. He oh, wait. He can just kill. Yeah. Not oh, he doesn't get yet. it. But any chip will do it. He so Fudo trying to stay away. Oh. He had the meter for the EX. I, I think if he did the EX, he might have won. But you know what? It doesn't matter. He takes it anyway. So. 2-2. Two, two. Udo here from Japan, Shen from Singapore. Both one game away from Grand Finals. Oh, won it. Just caught him first. Three frame low jab, really good. And there it is, chasing down that back dash again. Shen is doing a beautiful job on Udo's wake up. He has really kept him very confused on what to do. Between the mini mallet smash, the catch back dashes, the overheads, the baiting of the uppercuts, Fudo's wake up has been very dangerous for him this whole match. Oh no! With a little too far, but he has a huge life lead. Gosh, he jumps so slow. <laughs> it's so weird looking. Oh, just catches him. That should be it, yep. And now Shin at match point. Nice jump from uh, Fudo. Safe range to do it. Gain some space as he does it. Ooh! There's a 
the hurt box of Elena getting right under that jump strong. Low profiling it. Oh, okay, he stood up. It's just that you block the first one, you kind of feel like you're out of the woods and you want to gain position again, and then you forget that there's just those two hits from it. She can mix up how long it lasts, right? Yeah, uh -huh. Different strengths, so. Right there, you saw him. He had the two meters, so we knew he could make it safe. Oh, -ho. oh again, that neutral jump. Perfectly timed from Fudo. So important. Few hundred damage and all the way into the corner. That stands short. Not the fastest move, but it reaches so far for the speed that it has. Beautiful. Punish. Try to catch the back dash again. Oh! Here comes Shen. Still has the corner. Oh, just go oh, in! Hey. Gets the crumple! Gets the dizzy into the crumple, I mean, and there it is. Finishes it off with the EX scratch wheel. Shen is in grand finals. Congrats to Shen. Three to two. I do want to mention one thing, though. Remember, guys, we have 16 premier events. 16 people are qualifying through that. 15 players are qualifying through ranking points. Sure. Because one player is already qualified, and that is E.G. Momochi, for winning last year's Capcom Cup. He gets a free invite to come back. Makes sense, right? Yeah. So it's really interesting right now. We have four players left in this tournament. Yes. But if Momochi gets the grand finals, that means Shin is guaranteed to win. So Shin is in a really good position right now. He wants Momochi to beat everybody. Okay. He wants Momochi to beat Kazunoko and Fudo. Okay. But the important thing for Momochi here is that he's still trying to build points for C. Everyone started this year with zero points and they're all building up points little by little. So Momochi still wants to be able to get seated because there's 32 players at Capcom Cup this year. And if you can build up a lot of points, you're at a position where you will still face the weakest player at the bottom. So Momochi still has every bit of motivation to try to take this tournament. And also he's gonna get some good money out from out of it too. So. Uh, thanks so much to Mad Cats for the support. Uh, appreciate it as always, and, and same to all the sponsors uh, for the Capcom Pro Tour. Yep. Definitely a big deal. Yep, Turtle Beach as well, as you can see down here at the bottom. Check them out, turtlebeach.com. Again, 